or it's not just about processor and graphics, it's about I.O. as well. And today we have an incredible announcement in I.O. Thunderbolt 3, which is now delivering the world's best USB-C experience. Running at 40 gigabit per second or twice the speed as USB with the same standard based connector. The single cable can provide four times the data, double the bandwidth of any other cable. It supplies up to 100 watts of power, external graphics, and built-in 10 gigabit ethernet. It can support multiple dual K monitors. We'll have initial products with Thunderbolt 3 available in the market before the end of the year and ramping into 2016, especially on our sixth generation core processors. More than 30 mobile PC designs are already integrating Thunderbolt 3 into the marketplace by the end of the year. So we'll have a separate press conference on this, but a great announcement that we're using Computex to get into the marketplace on. In new computing form factors, these small mini desktop PCs the fastest growing segment of desktop at over a 20% compound annual growth rate. You know, when I joined Intel in 1992, the fastest supercomputer in the planet took about a 10% of this entire auditorium. It was 60 gigaflops. Now we can put about four times that performance in one of those predator towers that you saw over there, 230 gigaflops. And we're putting that entire supercomputer now into a nook that we can put into a smart sign, a point of sale terminal, or a kiosk. But we're not stopping there. With now with the Intel Compute Stick, we're going to be delivering by 2017 a Compute Stick that's as powerful as the fastest supercomputer in the world in 1993, with an estimated 70 gigaflops of performance. And as I mentioned earlier, we're not stopping there. This is Computex. So we'll have that all in that Curie button. And if I can get it out of my pocket. <laughs> A supercomputer that used to be a tenth the size of this auditorium, all in this button by the end of the decade. That's the power of Moore's Law if we look at these next generation form factors. In desktop innovation, one of the other big areas is all-in-one computing. You know, what we're trying to do with all-in-ones is replace your TV, your PC, and now a digital game board all-in-one. You know, we're so consumed and getting engrossed in our phones that it's one thing that we're trying to do is actually bring the family back together. So here you see people playing on a new affordable all-in-one from Acer powered by our next generation Braswell technology, next generation Pentium. These kind of solutions now with Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 with 10 finger touch are going to start down as low as $399. A year ago we were talking about these solutions at $1,799. So it's all about bringing over 170 applications now together to immerse the family around. Again, with batteries in the back of these devices, you can carry them around and make them semi-portable in the home as well. So whether it's a big tablet or something else, that's up to you. But now solutions from Acer as low as $399. Two-in-one. You know, we stood up here with Johnny Shi in 2011 and talked about the Ultrabook, the best of a tablet and the best of a notebook, all in one. In 2012, we added touch. Then we added two-in-one capability. Now you're seeing no wires and no passwords and real sense technology added here. You know, with two-in-one, we've had five consecutive quarters of notebook growth year on year, despite a very tough PC environment. There's more than 80 two-in-ones in the market today, and 90% of those are now below 699. Sales were expecting to be up 75% year on year, and 50% of the people that are walking out of retail stores when we survey them had considered buying a tablet before they bought a two-in-one. We're also excited because PC buyers or two-in-one buyers are buying these products a full year earlier than a traditional clamshell buyer because they want to buy these products, they just don't need to buy these products. So I wanted to show two great examples here of technology. This is the uh, Yoga 3 Pro. It's a clamshell first design, so it's got a permanently attached keyboard. So just look at how amazingly thin this product is. Razor blade thin, and you see the beautiful watch band hinge, and of course, it very simply converts into a tablet like that. Uh, with Microsoft, we were excited that we won with our new Atom X7 architecture, the Microsoft Surface 3. Again, a very simple detach mechanism, and now the entire Surface line on Intel architecture. We're very excited with our partnership with Microsoft. And you know, people talk about the PC industry here in Taiwan. This is you know one of the best-selling notebooks of the 600 million notebooks that are now four years old. This is a four-year-old Asus notebook, and you can see all the connectors and DVD drives on there. 
just take a look at how it compares now to this T300G from ASUS. Just stunningly different in terms of the weight, about half the weight, half the Z height, twice as long a battery life, 12 times better 3D graphics, and eight times or nine times faster weight. And so not only is this just a stunning design, but you can just very simply detach it, and in 720 grams and 7.6 millimeters, you have something that's twice as powerful as an iPad Air in the core M design here, completely family. So great innovation. This is why we're confident that that 600 million unit PC base can be refreshed uh, very quickly here. Okay, mobility. You know, Intel has come a long way on mobility. Last year, we shipped 46 million Intel-based tablets, and about 55% of those originated from here in Taiwan. So we've become the number one merchant market silicon supplier in the tablet market. At Mobile World Congress, we announced a brand strategy for Atom around the X3 with our Sophia products and the X5 and X7 for our Cherry Trail products. Now for the Atom X3 with our master reference designs, we have more than 91 board and system designs for phones, tablets, and tablets based on these master reference designs. And Rockchip, our partner here, has many, many more. Our master reference designs become a great scaling vehicle. We're seeing people get to market now in five to six weeks versus the several quarters it took before. And we've got some great stories where we're seeing 20% fewer returns than the products that people were using on other architectures. So rather than me talk about it, I thought I'd